Welcome to my very first video here on YouTube. If you're from my old channel, hey, what's up? How are y'all doing? I know y'all miss my face here on YouTube, but we're back and we're better, okay? We're back and we're better, okay? So yeah, today I'm gonna be doing this very cute, this cute little vibe right here, okay? Um, this very soft glam, very full glam look. I know I'm moving my hands a lot. I'm a hand mover. Yeah, we're doing this very soft glam, full glam look, um, quarantine and chill style. You know, if you got places to go, if you if you need to go grocery shopping, this is the look to do right now, okay? Because I mean, we're getting dressed up still, and we're not going anywhere. But you know what? If you if you need to go grocery shopping today, do this look and go out grocery shopping, okay? Make yourself feel a little bit good. Make yourself feel a little bit better. It's always good to throw on some makeup, okay? Because I know we all, we're all just sitting at home right now. We're all like, what the hell are we doing? When is this going to be over? I know. Girl, it's been at least two months since I've done my makeup last. Almost two months. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look right here, then please go ahead and continue to watch. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah. Okay, so... First things first, I usually always start off with brows. My brows are always done, simple as that. Um, and then I just concealed them a little bit with some concealer. And what I like to do is I like to take my concealer and just dot each lid. And I do not do a lot of concealer either. So I tried to film this video the other day and I just, I mean, it's been hella long since I even recorded a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and just blend it out with this Morphe brush. All my brushes are from Morphe, by the way. I don't use any other brush except for Morphe. And I bring it all the way in the inner part and all the way on the outer part. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my MAC. Um, this is the Dark Deep Mineralized Skin Finish. Looks like this. I use this as my bronzer slash face powder slash I use it so much for my eyes. Bronzer is the best eyeshadow. If you don't know what you're going to do, bronzer is the way to go. Period. So I like to start off like in the middle or whatever. And it's just super simple, like, I swear. It's easy as one, two, three. And I just build this bronzer up, okay, build it up. And I like extending my eyeshadow. I like extending it. Okay, now that we got that situated, I'm gonna go in with my um, Reezy palette. She looks a little dull on camera. Yeah, there you go. And I'm going to be taking um, these two shades right here mixed. I'm gonna try to deepen the crease with that just a little, little bit. Okay, just a tiny little bit. And I like to go a little higher right here. Like I do not go down, if you get me. I like to go higher. Drag that right here on the outer corner. And then the same thing with this eye. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease, but we're not really cutting it. I'm gonna be using my P. Louise Space in the shade Rumor 2. I only use this to do what I'm about to do. You'll see. And 
that right there. How do I do that? And take this brush. And since you can tell, like I did not, I did not cut my crease whatsoever. That's why I'm using the fluffy brush to blend this out. Now I know that these both are not perfect whatsoever. Like they're not equal. They're not even. It's whatever. Um, because we're just gonna go and blend the crease out again, so it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna take my Arizzi palette and I'm gonna go in with this shade Wasted. She's super light pink, super cute, only has a little bit of like shimmer in it. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. I usually use the matte, but the last time I went to Target, they didn't have the matte one. And I also think that Target was closed due to quarantine. I mean, sorry, Ulta was closed due to quarantine, so I could not go there. And I'm gonna do um, a little bit of liner. And for face, I'm going to be taking my MAC Pink Light Stroke Cream, but I'll only take about that much of her. I don't really take much because I haven't been doing like highlight um, on my face or anything like that. I haven't really been liking it because I got a bit of texture on my face, especially during quarantine and stuff. Um, I haven't really been taking the best care of my skin. Um, since I moved out of my grandma's house, I've just been like moving my stuff in and whatnot and you know, doing like house duties. You get me? Okay, and I'm gonna go in with my Tatcha Silk Canvas. The Silk Canvas lines is dirty. I haven't been doing my makeup. I haven't done my makeup since February and I'm not even lying to you. That the other day when I tried to do my makeup, like I said um, in the beginning of the video, was just like the world's hugest fail ever. It just came out so cakey, like I honestly didn't know what I was doing. Okay, for foundation, I'm going to go in with my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Medium 2 Tahoe. Um, she's looking quite, she's looking quite orange in a way like she's more of like an olive green um but i honestly don't use that much i use that much per side of my face i feel like the camera's picking it up a little bit differently than what it actually looks like in real life because I, I swear to you, she, why do I keep on saying she, um, it doesn't look this orange in real life. So, and then I don't really put much on the forehead because I go in with concealer and stuff too on the forehead. And I'm taking my beauty blender, she's clean. I'm gonna go ahead and foundation out. If you're wondering why I did not put it on the middle of my face, I go on with concealer on the middle of my face, so I do not like foundation on the center of my face. So I find that my nose area, you know, starts sliding off, it gets cakey, you know, you can see like my dryness and stuff, because if, you, if I didn't already say it, which I don't think I did, I am extremely, extremely dry. I'm now going to be taking my... Too Faced Born This Way um, Super Coverage Concealer, and I'm in the shade Cookie. And this is the concealer that I actually use like every single time I do my makeup. Every single time. And I like this one because it's really hydrating. Because like I said, my freaking skin is like really dry. 
And what I do is I take it up against the side of the nose and I round it out. Just like that. So you see that I actually didn't like cover my nostril. Okay, so while that kind of dries, I like to go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 330. I just want to let y'all know if y'all are going for this soft, you know, glam type of look, y'all do not have to go full coverage like me. Um, even though I don't really count it as full coverage because, like I said, I don't really use a lot of um, foundation. I just use a lot of concealer, okay? Um, and you also don't have to use so much like high-end concealers. If you have your favorite drugstore concealer, you can use those too. I mean, it's like the same thing. The elf one was really good, and I just tried it, so. And I like to place this one right here. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out now. So I feel like I let it dry for a while. And then I just kind of like to blend it out so it's not so um, harsh. And now I go in right here. And I go inside of my nose. Like, I go in there with the feel. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick Foundation in the shade. Coco 410, and I use this to um, contour my face. But since I haven't used this in a while, I'm gonna go ahead and just rub it on my hand because it's like dry a little bit on top. And I'm just going to go from the top of my ear down, and I'll only do about that much. I remember back in the day, I used to use um, the first contour palette that I ever got, and that was from ABH. And I remember um, using the darkest shade in there to contour my face because that's what everybody was doing. And oh my god, you should have seen me. Like my, the center of my face was so bright and then the outer parts was just like so, you know, in your face. Like I did not, I didn't even know how I even blended anything else. I didn't even have a beauty blender. All I had was one breath. My brushes are hella dirty. I haven't washed them since I moved out, so I will soon, I hope. I'm going to go ahead and take this Real Techniques um, Expert Face Brush. This is my favorite brush to use to blend out my contour. And I love that L'Oreal um, L'Oreal stick because it's so smooth. Like It blends out so smooth. I just love how it looks and I also blend out these parts too but I push it into my hairline Okay, now I'm taking my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter setting powder. This one is in the shade Banana. It's my favorite powder to set my under eyes. I 
and I take that, but I press it in to the under eye. Got my. I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, and I like this one. I mean, I used to be like really into this specific powder. However, I feel like it's just too drying for me. I mean, it doesn't do anything but like set your face. It doesn't give you extra color like the Fenty one. I'm just gonna deepen up that part just a tiny bit. So then it gives it like that natural contour look. Even though I did go in with creamy contour, I like to do this part no matter what. Because it gives me that natural like shade in the cheekbones. Because so I really don't have like high, high cheekbones or any cheekbones at all. You can like tell there. Like they're not up there. Where did they go? Where did they go? So I'm going to try to take um, this one by Milani, and this one is in the shade number 5, Coral Cove. But the other day I took it on a different brush. I didn't actually take it on um, like a really good brush. So I'm going to take it on this brush today. This is the Morphe M405. I'm going to tap it off. And I learned this trick where if you bring your blush up a little high, it just kind of makes you look more youthful-like. So that's what I'm going to do today. Okay, lashes are on. If you're wondering if I'm going to put mascara on my bottom lashes, I do not do that with any eye look. I mean, the last time I put mascara or any type of eyeshadow on my bottom lashes was probably end of October, beginning of November last year. And if you want to see that look, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I have it up on my IG. It's looking really cute. I haven't been taking pictures lately, but I'm hoping now that I've gotten settled into my home and everything, I will be able to take pictures. I even bought new clothes and all that. Okay, so time for lips. And for lips, I'm going to be using um, two lip liners from MAC. One is in the shade Cork and the other in the shade Oak. They're in the same color category, but Cork is a bit darker. And I like my dark lip liners okay so my lips looking head on are crooked but I'm fine it's okay I'm gonna overline my lips on the cupid's bow just a tiny little bit And then when it comes to my regular lip line, I just do the regular lip line. 